Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Now, I've been staring at the map for a bit now and thinking to myself, do I want to continue this series too much further? I mean, it is almost it's 1668. We're a little more than like halfway through the game. I've all, you know, it took me a lot less time than I expected to actually achieve my goal. And, and it's just, it's super, super huge bummer that I don't actually get the, the achievement because the, um, save file was started offline or save game logging to another user edited or saved with incompatible DLCs. Um, that was, like I said before, that was because, uh, I started this save file with, uh, uh, in a pre-release beta version of the mod, and then continue it in the post-release um, version of the not mod of, of the game of the uh, the DLC. So just because of that, the you know the what's the Iron Man mode was disabled, which was really unfortunate. But I did manage to get through most of you know the hard part of the game on Iron Mode, and now it's just the easy part of the game. Oh, my cat just moved the the drapes aside. Ugh, natural light. Whoa. There we go. Move that back. Get that natural light out of my way. Mm, no, that doesn't need to be a state. I mean, like, my, st my I'm, Molly is huge. It covers um, about half the Timbuktu node and most of the uh, Ivory Coast node. We took South Africa. Huge swaths of of South America. And we are a uh, like a monetary powerhouse in the world. How much is this actually worth? Only 14 ducats, surprisingly. I mean, look at Genoa. 30, 39. Um, well, I don't know. I, I want to keep this going, but I mean, it's gotten to the point where it's like, okay, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? The purpose has been achieved. What am I going to do next? Oh, yeah, we were working on these guys. So my galleons, um, let's grab my... Uh, my frigates out and move them off to the side. And so I can get a look at the rest of the fleet. Mothball these guys. Well, we can upgrade them. There's only 19 ships in there. Yeah, okay. So... This one. Mothball. So this is 17 heavies, 20 galleys, and 24 transports. And then I've got 60 frigates here. Uh, why don't we split this in half... And give them, and let's see, let's give them missions. Oh, we can upgrade. So, for, so the early frigates are uh, what we need to get rid of and replace them. It's just, you know, I, I think I only had like one person comment and was like, I don't believe you that this was done on, uh... D done on Iron Man mode. I mean, the, the transition from one save file to the next was before the... Uh, the uh, the game came out, so you could see that that you know it was you know you know it was legit up until a certain point where it was still on Iron Man mode. So there's there was no monkey business. It was just you know down to the random events that I either succeeded or or failed. English Brazil is starting to annoy me. They just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, where are my colonists right now? So down here and over here. Aristocrats grateful for favor. Wow, gain a little bit of corruption and 1,500 ducats. That was nice. Some rebels. Portuguese peasants. Jesus Christ, Portugal. How are you going to handle that? Oh, wow, Austria. Jesus Christ. Uh, Austria gobbled up Hungary. Commonwealth. So those are... What do we got? Commonwealth... Magnet, uh, ooh, cottage industry. Yeah, we're gonna take that. That is base production, but you gain unrest in some in some places. So, uh, magnet rebels, Nitrian separatists, Kievian say uh, Transylvanian separatists, Austrian peasants. Woo, Austria, you are falling apart. Fr frankly, I really want to do an HRE playthrough because it's not anything I've ever done before aside from the. Um, the Brandenburg playthrough I'm doing with Bob and Midge right now. Other than that, I've never played an HRE, and HRE was really, was really fun. All right, Malayan Columbia, High Liberty Desire. 
they've got the highest, easily the highest um, tariffs right now. We could decrease their tariffs. That only affects it by 2%. Wow. I mean, they're, they're, they're powerful. That's why they're... Uh, I can do improved relations here. Revolt down here. That's all. That's up to you guys. I do have troops stationed, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, fleets. Frigates. You guys need to upgrade frigates. Okay. All right, so. Protect trade. Looking for anything. Ooh, five. Where's that? Brazil. Clearly some are better than others. Brazil. Send over there. When you get, like, a five-ducat increase from one fleet being out, it brought, wow, 115. I didn't think they could have over 100. And that was, you know, it, I guess it's not a solid 100. Got multiple treasure fleets coming in. That's pretty cool. Bourgeois request privileges. Lose admin, lose diplo, admin and diplo. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Like I was saying, I don't know how much further I want to um I want to bring this because I achieved the goal. I mean, I took over South America as Mali and became a world powerhouse. I did it. And and it, and it took less time than I expected and I don't know. I like, I don't really enjoy the the paint paint the world your your nation style of gameplay. And that that that's this is this is definitely lend itself to that. Like playing as Prussia in, in, in that one series and oh, who's this? This little nation here. Madgeburg. Yeah. And who's this? Cologne got big. HRU is fun. I was actually thinking about doing um my, in my next community playthrough, uh having everybody do HRE nations. And so we all like all twelve, fifteen people playing the HRE. Missionary strength, yes. I'm gonna take that. That's going to help out a bit. Yeah. There's a good amount of, um, you know, areas that were either absorbed in one or two wars or um, brought into the fold via colonies that are uh, off on relations. French Canada. Why is Canada bothering? What, do I, what does that have to do with me? And what do we got the tech up on? We can do, take a 30% ahead penalty on admin. I think not. But that would unlock another idea. And frankly, I could use I could use a goddamn military idea. Uh, my, 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 milita my, my military is not that strong. Low tradition, low morale. Well, morale is because the slider's down. I'm at my force limit, but uh, let's see. Discipline. Military tactics. Hmm. Don't want to become defender of the faith. Military leader has died. That was probably this guy down here. No, it wasn't that guy. I'm just coming off. You know, I, I recorded a week's worth of uh, Brandenburg this morning and got a, a army tradition of 90 where we left it off. And now I'm coming to this. And I'm like, oh, my military sucks. All right. Why don't we do a little. Well, let's look at buildings. Any place that could... Uh, the uh, Blue is upgrades, so might as well take care of those. There we go. Just might, might as well do it. I still only control 53% of this node. It, large port parts of this node are being pushed up, which I don't like. Um, we're going to lose piety. Revolt in Mabamba. Revolt in Cape. So we got two revolts to deal with. That actually, where are those fire from? I didn't actually think there was any rebels. All right. Um, who's got this? Oh, God, it's occupied by these guys. So where's my army right now? There's 31,000 men. Can you get down there? Boom. Can you get down? Okay, will it will let me travel through there? No. 
I actually cannot get there right now, so what we're gonna need to do is unmock all these. And take- we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Because these are unconnected regions, so... Might have to leave my... My transports, uh, floor of Molly fires again. My transports un... You know, undone. Move over there. Yes, please. I'm gonna need you. Oh, let's see. I was thinking maybe increasing my transports to 30. Another military leader has died. Of course he has. These are... Right. Congolese rush of colonists. Uh, yeah, we're going to take that. Congolese separatists? from Mali, and they moved out of my land. Okay, so I'm still gonna have to take care of them. But I can't... I can't follow them over there. Oh, that sucks. Are they gone? They just disappear? What the... Oh, those are the same ones. I don't even know what they want. Let's see. Increased autonomy. That's what they want. I have 35,000. It's a lot of troops. And where did these... Where, where do these Congolese separatists go? Those are Portuguese. Did they just auto-transport somewhere? I honestly don't know. All right, well, we need to get these, uh, these guys down south taken care of. I mean, they're just, there's no forts down here, so they're just running around. Knocking everything out. Poor that. Okay. Still tech up, but it's still ahead. I could do a new military now, so let's do that. Good. Let's take this one out. Just, um... Not, you know, filling out the, uh, the border gore. Portuguese, okay. Now I need to get these guys down here. Transport, go. Fast. Because without, um, anybody down here to take care of these guys, this is the part of the problem with having a world empire. Is that you need troops all over the place, and I don't really have the force limit for that. Alright, so you need a leader now, so we're going to have to re-roll. Not very good. Alright, so let's move on up. And at least start taking some of these lands back from them so they have less stuff. Okay, there. The other part of my uh, fleet should be coming on over soon. We'll just have them follow him. We'll just follow him around. Okay, yeah. So, you go here, and then we'll meet up, and we'll take this guy out over here. Spread a disease. No big deal. Oh, build cost 10%. That sucks. All right, and then you come back down here. Oh, we're going to meet him here, I guess. Wow. Got a lot more morale than them, actually. Uh, I'm a little surprised. A lot more morale. Well, that, take, that, that takes care of that. I mean, this is why I'm like, 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 this is not terribly, you know, entertaining to me. Um, just sitting here collecting money and, and, and suppressing rebels and stuff like that. Um, kind of like political intrigue is, I, I find, much more entertaining. So I might do, I might axe this series just so I can do something that I particularly find more interesting. I mean, I, I showed that it's possible. The, the, the goal, the achievement. Uh, I'll probably try it again off screen just so that I can actually, you know, get the achievement in the books, as it were. Because unfortunately, like I said, not not able to, considering the fact that, um, you know, the change in inversion made it obsolete. Alright, what do we got here? We have 
decent income, production efficiency, stability cost, tax modifier. Let's do that. I wonder if French troops down here. Oh, you know what? They they got they got they're in exile. They got stuck there, and then we never they were able never able, never never able to leave. Why am I having trouble with that? Economy is 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 extremely good. Uh, position in the world is extremely good. I'm a great power. I fought other you know uh, world powers and won. Not you know not, I wouldn't want to be been able to beat France on the land, but what can I do right now? Slender merchant, sabotage recruitment, sabotage reputation. So discontent. Steel maps support rebels. They got any rebels? No. Slander merchants, sabotage recruitment. So discontent. Ooh. National unrest and yearly legitimacy. Confirm that one. Is that French? No, that is uh, one province minor. I thoroughly enjoyed, uh, well, in my uh, my off-screen Austria game, it was fun until the, the what's it called hit, the, the League War, because Castile, France, the Ottoman, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, and then half of the HRE we were fighting in the Catholic, uh, were fighting in the Protestant League against the Catholic, even though they were all Catholic, which I know it's it was about reputation and whatnot, but I was allied with Poland when they abandoned me, but so... It was it was a bit of a, a you know a slap in the face. Ooh, marriageable women, base manpower and population. That was over here, right there. Hmm. Got some rebels over here. Uh, I'm gonna let that. They got enough troops over there. Gonna let them take care of it. Lost the colonialism, CB. Is that Dutch now? The Netherlands. 13 colonies are big. Got New Netherlands, French Canada, French Labrador. I don't know why that's different. Maybe it's a different region? That's the same trade region. That would be a colonial region. No, it's the same colonial region. Oh, you know what? It's because they're working on that right now. Okay. Sure. sure. I, you know, I think I am going to uh, axe this series after this episode. You know, and it's not not for, for any real particular reason uh, other than I, I achieved the goal I set out for. And uh, I'm not particularly finding it as enthralling after the fact as I, as I had hoped. And, you know, I already do have another EU4 series on the channel right now. I have the um, the multiplayer one, which is actually a little bit more popular than the single player one. And uh, I might I might start up another one, another single player one, depending on how I feel um, about what I'm doing. Uh, you know, like I said, maybe do an HRE run because I've never done that before and I think it might be fun. Alliance from Morocco. Sure. Very, very alone in the world. Very alone in the world. Gain colonialism against Norway. So, Norway and Sweden just gobbled up Denmark? Who's this? It's a one province miner. No, that's owned by Bremen. That's Bremen right there, which is being attacked by Cologne. Very nice. It's not like I didn't get far into the game. 1675. So I did well. I think I did well. Terrace on Tobacco. La Plata. Yeah. And it, well, bleh, bleh, Columbia is the only one I'm kind of like, maybe not increase their tariffs because they're already high. It's high in La Plata now. High in Colombia. Man, they give me a lot of money. 32 from tariffs right now. That is so high. All right, let's tech up. Wow, that's uh, two different kinds of ships. Okay. And let's go ahead and take this one as well. 
Let's see here. Merge those guys together. Upgrade. It's gonna be a pricey one, but we got it. It's 41 of the 61 ships. It was a few. And what else have we got in here? Cologne's the new emperor. So quality would be good. I do have a powerful navy. I haven't taken offensive or defensive. Maritime is a very lackluster. Maritime and espionage, very lackluster ideas. Hmm, hang on a sec, I want to check something. I have three more cultures I can promote. Castilian, wow. Castilian is eight, per I've taken enough Castilian land for it to be 8% of my total development. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. Ooh, 100 population. Nice. But nine neglect. And what else? Stamp Act. Okay, I forgot about the Stamp Act. Hmm. A lot of Diplo ones you can do. Production efficiency, tax efficiency, tax efficiency, interest. Merchants, trade power ab abroad. That's a good one. Production efficiency, national tax modifier, your legitimacy. A lot of good ones in there. Wow, another 100 population. That just keeps firing. I've got like 400 population this episode from events. Okay. Well, quality or, you know, defensive is an e easy one to try to grab. Land attrition, attrition for enemies up. I've go I've tried going... Well, let's see. What is the stability cost right now? Let's see which one of these is cheaper. Ooh. You know what? I have the admin to spend, then. It's only it's 15 points, but I need the Diplo power more than I need the admin right now. Fifty-nine thousand is not too bad. It's just they're not very good in the field. Infantry combo, yearly tradition. I'm gonna take quality. I'm gonna take quality. Might take the next tech before I I dump anything into it though, so I'm at least you know even. I also have. I also am playing Molly on um, the community event, which is extraordinarily entertaining. Uh, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying that one. It's a lot. It's a lot of fun with uh, other players on the map. Muscovy's getting big. Ming is huge. Zhang Zhao is not that bad. Jian Jian Zhao Zhou. I don't know. Ayutthaya. That one's pretty normal. Brunei and Malacca, pretty normal. Vijayanagar and Wanpur uh, taking over, pretty normal. Afghanistan and Iraq are huge. QQ's very small. Ottomans are massive, like they always fucking are. But, yeah, I think I think what I'm going to do is, is drop this series after this episode. Like I said, just because I think I could be, I, you know, I, I'm... I'm, I've achieved the goals. I'm super powerful. I've controlled all of uh, South America as Mali. It was a lot of fun doing it. Um, I, I, I definitely showed that it's about luck. In that, you know, uh, so a couple lucky events early game um, will really, uh, you know, you know, prove to be a big boon in terms of, you know, snowballing in the region. Uh, unlucky events will really hold you back. You know, uh, the, the unlucky events, I, I took a lot of s negative stability hits early game in the first save file, and I took a, a lot of positive stability events in the second save file, so there was a lot of um, a lot of stability that I had in one that I didn't have over the other, which saved me a lot of admin points, which allowed me to put that into development and um, 
developing uh, the tax base and annexing territory, things like that. That was a big difference from one file to the next. Like I said, one save file just dogpiled negative events on me, and one just kept on going. So uh, keep your eyes out soon, guys. I've got too many series running on the channel right now anyway, so uh, there might be a little gap in EU4, in a single-player EU4. But like I said, I've been really interested in uh, playing in the HRE recently because I, I, I recently discovered how entertaining that can be. So um, keep an eye out for that. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.